Today I'm going to show you how students use comparison bars in math to model comparison situations. So in kindergarten, um, students start showing comparisons by using a matching drawing. So for example, they would have four objects on top and then they'd be compar comparing it to two objects. They show the amounts that are the same by drawing matching sticks and then they determine how many extra there are. In first grade, students start to represent comparison problems using the comparison model. This is a comparison model that students would use to solve those problems. The top bar represents the larger quantity, the smaller bar represents a smaller quantity, and the oval represents the difference quantity, or the difference between the two larger and smaller quantities. Here's one way to use the comparison model when solving a comparison problem. So the problem is, Cal has six more pencils than Madison. Madison has eight pencils. How many pencils does Cal have? So the first thing students want to think about is what's happening in the story. We know that Madison has eight pencils, but we don't know how many Cal has. But we do know that Cal has six more pencils than Madison. So to start, students can think about which, which um, partner in the story has a larger quantity. So in this story, it says Cal has six more pencils than Madison. So we know that Cal has more. So to represent that, we'll put a C by the larger bar to stand for Cal. And then in the larger bar, we'll put the, we're going to put a box because we're unsure of how many pencils Cal has. In the smaller bar, we know that Madison has less than Cal, so we'll put an M for Madison, and then we'll put how many pencils Madison has since we know. So now I'm going to write an 8. We know that the difference between Madison's amount of pencils and Cal's is 6 because Cal has 6 more. So in the oval, we'll put the difference, which is six. Now students need to determine how many pencils Cal has. The best way to do this is to take the smaller quantity plus the difference to figure out how many total pencils Cal has. So eight plus six would be 14. Cal has 14 pencils. This model is helpful to use when solving problems that are comparing two quantities. It's also really helpful to use in second grade and beyond when students encounter um, more complicated story problems. Okay, so let's work on this problem. It says, Kale has six more pencils than Madison. Madison has eight pencils. How many pencils does Kale have? Madison, who is in this story? Um, Kale and Madison. Kale, what is the story about? It's about how many pencils um, does Kale have more than Madison? So, what's happening in this story, Madison? Um, we don't, well, um, we're trying to figure out how many does really, does Kale have. Okay, so that's what we're trying to figure out. What do we know? We know that Madison has eight. And Kale has six more than Madison does. Are we putting our pencils together or taking them apart or comparing how many each person has? We taking are apart. Yeah. What do you think, Kale? Um, taking them apart. So we have a big group of pencils and we're supposed to take some out of it? Um, Is that what the story says? Um, no, but we're supposed to do um, comparison bars. Right? Oh, because is this story about comparing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you see how we're going to compare Kale's pencils to Madison's pencils? Mm -hmm. And that will help us figure out how many pencils Kale has. Could you make some comparison bars to show this story? Is there some information you could put in your comparison bars? Oh, nice. Um, yes. We could put Madison's in the bottom bar. Okay, Madison, do you agree? Mm -hmm. Why can we do that? Since it says Kale has six more. Oh, so do we know how many Kale has? No. Do we know how many you have, Madison? Yes. Okay. So then the six goes in the circle because that's the how many more oh, the Kale has. Okay. What about in Kale's bar? Mom can put in a question mark or a box. Why? We don't know how much Kale has. Okay. 
Could you also write an equation that matches this story? Yes. Okay, so you two both wrote eight plus six equals unknown. Can you, someone explain why you wrote that equation? Because Madison has an eight and we can put the eight down here and the six is right here. We can put that right there and, the, and we can put the square right there. And what happens if you add the eight and the six together? What will it be equal to, Madison? Um, 14. Oh, so you're solving it? Is that, what, is it equal to how many pencils Kale has? Um, yes. yes. Okay, why don't you go ahead and show how you would solve it on the other side of your board. So you can show your strategy for solving. While Kale is finishing Madison, I see used a counting on mm -hmm. strategy. Okay, make sure to show your answer at the bottom, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Kale, you're adding a label to your story or to your answer. Why are you adding a label? Because I don't really know what it's about. Oh, is this story about pencils? Mm -hmm. So our answer should have a label that says pencils. Kale, what strategy did you use to solve? I used um the um six. Um, just take away two from the six, and then give um two to the eight. That equals ten. So then the six, and then the six minus the four. Then we have four. So then it's more easy. 10 plus 4 equals 14. Okay, so you use the make a 10 strategy. All right. Thanks, guys.